discrete values of k in the first brillion zone. For a one-dimensional atomic chain of identical atoms, show that the total number of allowed values of k inside the first brillion zone is equal to the number of lattice points. So, <clears throat> if we look at our born von Karman boundary conditions, according to born von Karman periodic boundary conditions, we have the zeroth atom displacement is equal to the capital N atom displacement and N atom displacement is equal to capital N minus N atom displacement. So capital N is number of atoms. We're talking about the N atom in the periodic boundary condition. This is for a monatomic one dimensional chain And A is our lattice constant. So we can write the displacements as U is equal to the amplitude E to the I K and A minus omega T. And uh, this gives us for the zeroth atom a times e to the minus i omega t, which is equal to the displacement of the capital N atom, which is uh, A times e to the i k a capital N, e to the minus i omega t. So this tells us that e to the i k a n is equal to 1, and 1 is e to the i 2 pi times an integer n. So we can see that the k values are uh, 2 pi over a n divided by capital N, or we can write this as 2 pi divided by capital N a times n. So here this n integer can take values from 0, 1, 2, all the way up to capital N minus 1, but we have n equals 0 and n equals capital N are the same atoms. So, <clears throat> the number of uh, n values discrete n values is capital N minus 1 minus 0 divided by 1 plus 1 which is capital N. So we have uh, k allowed to take, k can take capital N distinct values and now in the first brilliant zone, we have the maximum value of k, the brilliant zone boundary, pi over a. This is equal to 2 pi n max divided by capital N a. So remember that uh, k values are uh, 2 n pi over n a, capital N a. So this tells us that the maximum value of n is capital N divided by 2. And so k can take values from minus capital N over 2, minus n over 2 plus 1, minus 1, 0, plus 1, all the way up to n over 2 minus 1 and n over 2. So how many different k values do we have uh, in the first brilliant zone? We have, uh, this gives k 
capital N over 2 minus minus capital N over 2 uh, divided by 1 plus 1 that is basically capital N plus 1 values in contradiction with a number of n values and why is that because uh, we have k is equal to uh, plus or minus pi over a the first brilliant zone boundary first brilliant zone boundaries these are identical points So we don't count uh, them twice so that uh, we have to subtract 1 and therefore k has n plus 1 minus 1 capital N distinct values in the first brilliant zone. Okay, so uh, we were asked to prove uh, that the total number of allowed values of k inside the first brilliant zone is equal to the number of lattice points. And for a monatomic one-dimensional chain, capital N, it, the number of atoms, is the number of lattice points. And born von Karman periodic boundary conditions tells us that the end atom displacement is equal to capital N minus end atom displacement. And this implies writing our traveling wave solution A times E to the I K N A minus omega T. Uh, K can take discrete values 2N pi divided by capital N A where A is the lattice constant. And n can take values from 0 to capital N minus 1, n equals 0 and n equals capital N are the same atoms. So uh, the number of distinct n values are n, therefore k should be able to take capital N distinct values. In the first brilliant zone, the maximum value of k is pi over a, which tells us maximum value of n is n over capital N over 2. So k can take values from minus n over 2 all the way up to capital uh, N over uh, 2. Um, so this is not K, this is uh, N. N can take values from uh, minus N over 2 to plus N over 2. Uh, so we can see that uh, this gives us N plus 1 values in contradiction of the number of N values we have found uh, earlier. So uh, k is equal to plus or minus pi over a. These two end points are the identical points. So we can basically subtract one and therefore we find capital N distinct values also in the uh, first brilliant zone.